afternoon. Today I'm going to try to make a little propane tank wood stove for the cabin I'm building. So, <coughs> right now I'm just going to, uh, I already got the valve taken out. Tuck the float. And I don't know what that little aluminum part was for. Play like overflow. Or a uh, re return. But I'm just going to put that back in once I'm done cutting it to plug the hole in the bottom. So I already got my one line. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have mine sitting like this. That way I've got a flat spot for a pot or something to set up already. I'll probably stick some wire in here. The holes that are already there. So I can put like a little kettle or something on it. Got my hole marked out where my uh, makeshift chimney is going to attach. I'm going to keep this top line. I'm going to keep this top line here. I'm going to extend this little this bottom one down. See the uh, side down a little. That's going to be my opening. Doesn't need to be a huge door, because you're just going to be burning kindling in here. Left some room in the bottom so I can put a tray in for ashes. And I uh, took the valve out last night. I couldn't smell any propane in it. But I just left it out upside down outside because propane's heavier than air. And uh, I checked it today with a propane with a lit torch and nothing caught on fire. So it should be empty. I'll uh, take this outside and we'll get to cutting. <coughs> so. Whenever you're using the garage, you want to use uh, eye protection and ear protection. And, uh, it's already set up, so let's try to cut this thing out. Than I was expected. Alright, so I got my holes pre uh, marked for my drill. Hopefully, I got enough battery left on my uh, solar here.
I just got a couple holes pre-drilled. I'm gonna uh, attach this with some self tappers. Just gotta actually find uh, a couple washers going behind that. Just to take up the room from that welding line. Alright, so I got my hinge mounted here. And over here, this is a curtain rod holder. And I pulled out my spring earlier. That's going to go in here for the handle. Hopefully this gap here lets in enough air. If not, I'm going to have to grind some more off. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> I made my slot on the wrong side of my curtain rod. Because it should come in this way. <coughs> I guess I might be able to even use it like that. But I want that, that spring in here to hold it because it'll dissipate more heat if, depending on how hot this thing gets and I would have uh, taken you through the drilling but if you're using one of these hopefully you know how to drill a hole there's no measurements I used I just made a hole close to the edge here for this put it on and lined up where my other hole should be Same with this, I just mounted this side, and then I mounted the side to the tank. Needed a little bit of persuading with the hammer, but it's good now. So, I'm gonna go find one of my uh, hole saw bits, and drill a hole for some uh, smoke to escape. So, I didn't have anything lying around to use as a chimney, so I just, Got a piece of downspout on here for right now. <laughs> Just so I can burn the paint off. I think what's well, actually got a chimney on there should work pretty good. That's why I'm also running it with the door open. Because there's nothing to cause a draw and I don't think that's any that wooden there is good either but it should get hot enough to burn most of this paint off the rocks there to keep that downspout in place Well, thanks for watching. That's yeah, another cold day here again. So once I get the all this figured out with a chimney, I'll do another quick little update or put it add it on to another video I'm making. Oh, man. So uh, hope you liked it. Pretty simple. Only talk about it an hour of actual working on it in the freezing cold you see I got snot dripping out of my nose and uh, so I'll probably if I get the chimney on here I'll probably be using it out there to boil water and stuff to make tea when I'm building the cabin so I'll just throw that at, in an update there alright don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like it if you don't like it Leave a comment saying why or any suggestions. And uh, I'll get back to you guys on the uh, next video.